We start today with a fun fact. Did you know that the original name for Azure was Project Red Dog? And the team even wore red shoes at PDC in LA in 2008. Take that one and put it into your storage for useless pub trivia. Here in Melbourne, it is summer. The asphalt is melting, people are drying up waiting for public transport, and it feels like we live in a giant oven. But I know you're waiting for this show every week. So I braved the inferno conditions and got you the latest from Azure this week. Azure monitor logs for Grafana in public preview new Azure portal landing page, and it is time to move on from SQL and Windows Server 2008. We start with one of my new favorite words, Grafana. Say it with me, Grafana. Kind of tastes like smooth almond chocolate. It is open source software for creating analytics over time series. It is very pretty dashboards and monitoring solutions for big and small. Now Grafana also has integration with Azure Monitor Logs, which of course means you can get pretty Grafana graphs to show your monitoring data stored in Azure Logs. This is done through a new log analytics plugin created by the Azure team in collaboration with Grafana. The new plugin allows you to display any data available in log analytics, such as logs related to virtual machine performance, security, Azure Active Directory, which has recently integrated with Log Analytics, and many other log types, including custom logs, which is kind of cool. The Grafana plugin will run the query through the Log Analytics API, which means that data is available to query as soon as it is ingested to Log Analytics and is not copied to a separate store. You can try it out right now with your own data, and I just said Grafana six times. I mean, seven. If you were a bit tired of the tile dashboard experience in the Azure portal, apparently so were the team at Microsoft. They've created an additional landing page. The old dashboard is still alive and well though, but the new one focuses on finding recently visited resources, navigating to commonly used services, and discover how to use specialized services to learn, monitor, secure, and optimize your applications and infrastructure. As the number and depth especially the depth of services grow on Azure, it has become increasingly difficult to find and remember where they all are and what they do. This new landing page is aimed at helping with that goal. It kind of reminds you a bit of the landing or start page in Visual Studio with latest used resources, links to articles you'll never actually click on, and shortcuts to new services to try out. I'm in two minds though, as I always kind of like the dashboard and creating metrics to monitor and live tiles, which reminds me of the Windows Phone days. <sighs> Do you know what happens on July 9th, 2019? What well, Jeffrey knows, right mate? Yeah, SQL Server 2008 R2 reaches end of support. And about six months later on January 14th, 2020, Windows Server 2008 faces the same fate. That means if you keep running these outdated servers, you are opening yourself up to risk and unpatched hackery. Of course, Microsoft will help you every step of the way to move your on-premises SQL and Windows Server 2008 instances to updated ones on Azure. It's kind of the business model, right? <laughs> but it makes a lot of sense to get it done sooner rather than later. To help you get down the right path, Microsoft is putting on a few events for you to get more info from. For example, January 15th to March, for 21st, there are a number of SQL Server and Azure Data Services Roadshow events, which comes to a bunch of cities all over the world. On January 24th, there's a webinar, Transform Your Businesses with Modern Data Estate. And January 29th, there's another webinar on Transforming Windows Server's 2008 apps and infrastructure. The links to those events are below. And you know what? Jeffrey is already in the process of moving his servers, especially Server 2008 products, to the Azure Cloud. Be like Jeffrey. I know it's sad, but I will have to leave you again for another week. That is all we had time for on the show, but there were a few action points for you, at least. Azure Monitor Logs for Grafana, Grafana, in public preview, this open source graphing tool is brilliant and now fully integrated with your Azure goodness. Your action, your action, get the word Grafana into a sentence at least once a day. New Azure portal landing page. This is a new addition to the dashboard of live tiles, and it is time to move on from SQL and Windows Server 2008. Be like Jeffrey. See you next week, where there will be a quiz on everything I didn't mention on the show today. Keep being awesome, clone gurus.